So welcome, welcome. TC Fit Trainer Michelle here joining you for Strictly Strength. Uh, 25 minutes today. You will not need a mat. That's the big news. All standing exercises today. If you have free weights at home, go ahead and grab a heavy set and a lighter set. Um, and we'll talk through that as we go. But let's warm up together. Feet are wide, toes are forward. Little hip slide. Wednesday afternoon, it actually feels warm and sunny out there if you're in the Minneapolis area. It's all relative. Warming up, loosening up our joints. Just real smooth, nice and comfortable here. Let's go four more. Three and one, balance it out. Big chest opener, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Opening through the chest, give me a hug and an open. Good. Loosening up, this should feel good. We wanna open through that chest, especially if you've been hunched over our workstations all morning. We get to move today. All about building muscle, full body strength training workout. It's coming up. Two more. Open wide and hold our big windmill. I want you to rotate side to side, pausing in the center. Just one or two counts each direction, loosening up through the spine. Welcome, I see those names adding up on the screen. Thanks for joining in today. We're warming up for Strictly Strength. Always adjusting the exercise to meet your space and your body's needs. Bring your body to center. Diagonal windmill, so try touching that knee first. Little hip hinge. And then as you're ready, working at your own pace, taking the hands a little lower. Always pausing at the top to look forward. And we're gonna go about four more each side here. If you're still gathering your equipment, a heavy set and a light set today of dumbbells or free weights. One more each side. Take it to the top and hold. Give me a double leg squat and reach overhead. We're just loosening up those muscles, getting movement through our shoulders, through our hips, through our knees. A little flexibility through those ankles. Saying, yes, body, you can do this. One minute till we pick up those weights. Give me four more here, four. Nice and slow. Three, two more. Last one, take it to the top and hold. Go ahead and reach to the left, center. Reach to the right and center, two more. Last one, perfect. We are starting our first set today with heavy dumbbells. So eights, tens, twelves, fifteens, find something that works for you. It is gonna be squatting and we're gonna hold these weights right at shoulder level. The timer's still counting down, so don't panic. You don't need to jump in yet, but when you're ready, you're gonna join me with a squat and stand. This gives you a chance to still take that warm up from maybe a level one to a level two. Good. Sitting the hips straight back. I want you to think about your form and your technique. Now's your chance. If you haven't joined me, it's time to jump in. Round one has started. Option number two to intensify this exercise, adding an overhead press so it's low and press. I'm moving slow for a reason. I want my muscles doing this work. I want your muscles doing this work. It's not about momentum. It's about asking the muscles to work harder than what they're used to. Now, if you're observant, you've seen the countdown clock and you said, Michelle, are we gonna do this for six whole minutes? No, it's gonna be a series of exercises. So don't panic. Just about four more repetitions here. Gives you a chance to, to think about how you're feeling with this weight. Is this weight too heavy? Do you need to make a change? Take it low and hold. We're in our squat. Little pulses. Drop those hips two inches. It's okay to feel muscle burn. It's not okay to feel joint pain. So modify the exercise, modify the weight to your needs. We're gonna 
step wide and narrow. Right side first, it looks like this, right? And left. Right and left. Now we're doing this. This isn't the warm up, this is the real workout. You've got it. Quads are burning. Show me the muscle. Four more, each side. Here's four, three, two. We bring it to center, stand it up. Hinge from the hips, bent row. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. And squeeze. Takes about two counts up, two counts down. All about creating that work between your shoulder blades. If you want to intensify, take the elbows wide. Squeeze. Remembering to breathe. Get that oxygen in and out. No holding your breath. We're going to go about 15 more seconds, and then we're back to legs. This is a lower body break. Upper body's working. You're doing great. We're off to a good start. And stand it up. Weight at the shoulders. Give me that squat. Low. Adding the overhead press. Optional. Push. Push. Notice I'm not reaching for the ceiling. I'm just taking those weights overhead. Shoulders stay low. In control. Both legs working equally. You're able to press through the center of the foot. Four more. Three. Two. Hold it low. Little pulses. So you have options. Choose what works for you. Full squat. Full squat with press. Pulse. And you can join me for those side to sides. It's right and center. Left and center. Eyes are up. Abs are pulled in. Good work. Breaking that muscle down. Building it up even stronger. 20 seconds. Don't give up. Choose the leg exercise that's best for your level. Keep those hips low. Keep them pressed back. I want your focus on the upper body, but if you have the ability to go single leg balance, take it there now. Squeeze. Those weights come close to your belly button, not to your shoulders. Pulling down and back, pinging that letter V all the way across your back. Pull to the bottom of the V. If you're doing single leg, switch it up now. Eyes are looking just out in front of your body so that it keeps your head in line with your neck. Excuse me, your head, your neck, and your spine in line. 10 seconds, and we finish out the leg set. Stand it up. Weights are at the shoulders. Squat and stand. Option for the overhead press. You know it. We've done this. More intensity, hold it low. Pulse, pulse, pulse. 45 seconds. Step it wide and narrow. Your choice. Choose the leg squat level that works for you. 30 seconds and then we get a water break. Woo! Big smiles. Wonderful Wednesday. Don't give up. Four, three, two, sit low. One, walk it off. Clock's going to give us 30 seconds. This is your chance to grab water. Woo! Sarika. Christy, I see you out there. Hi.
Hi, Jean. Hi, Brenda. Second set. It's going to take a little bit more upper body. We're going to do a tricep extension. So choose the weight that works for you. For a lot of people, we're going to take this down a little bit lower than what we did for the first set. When you're ready, you're going to join me with a tricep kickback. Let's push and release. Push and release. So I'm hinging forward from my hips. You see a little bend in my knees. That's because my hamstrings are tight. You might know that feeling. Abs are pulled in like I'm squeezing into that tight pair of jeans. I'm drawing my belly button in and up like I'm going to zip the zipper. And I'm remembering to breathe. Exhale with the push. Inhale on the way down. That's going to force you to slow down the exercise. That's a good thing. The longer we hold those weights up, the more our muscles are working. 15 more seconds. New exercise coming up in 10. Hold the weights at hip level, stand it up. We're gonna alternate our lunge. So it's lunge and lift, lunge and lift. Alternating each side. If you're feeling coordinated today, we're gonna bicep curl. Every time we bend, our elbows bend. In control, I don't want you moving any faster than this. You feel that front foot step and press through that heel to get you back to the top. You're not falling to the floor, your muscles are taking you to the floor. So tricep kickbacks, lunge bicep curls. Those are our two exercises. I'm gonna give you some options for the next time through. So you could do them exactly the way we did for the first set, or you can mix it up. If you want to mix it up, take it down to one weight, overhead tricep kickback, or excuse me, overhead tricep extension. So I reach that weight behind the head, push to the ceiling. You can do this with two weights, depending on what weight you have at home, but I want you to be in control. Anytime we're pushing that weight overhead, we need to know that we can handle that intensity. Added leg work, right leg steps forward. We hold that lunge. Your feet are on two separate tracks. You should be able to see all of your toes in your TV or in your screen. And don't forget about your triceps. Elbows staying close. Woo! Make it work. 10 seconds. Then we switch up exercises. Almost there. Perfect. Pull it tall. One weight or two. We're going to alternate and bicep curl. It's lunge, curl, stand. Lunge, curl, stand. Working at your own pace. Halfway. So good. Keep it moving. We push through 20 more seconds. Then we're going to hit the triceps and the bicep curls one more time. So start thinking, do I want to do this with two weights or do I want to do this with one weight? And now's your chance. Switch it up if you need to. Hinge it forward, tricep kickback. I actually think this is the tougher option. You've got two weights. You can choose to single leg balance. Your choice. If you're using one weight, remember we're overhead. It's your workout, your choice. If you're on that single weight, left foot forward, lunge and hold. 30 seconds, and then we all come together with the same bicep exercise to finish it out. Elbows in, exhale. 
Exhale your weight to the top of the motion. If you're holding your lunge, press through that front heel. You should be able to look down and see your toes. So close. Five seconds. Woo! Everybody grab both dumbbells, two dumbbells. Lunge and bicep curl. This is your level one. If level one's too easy. Hold the right foot forward. Hold that lunge low. Just moving the arms. Woo! So great. Some of you out there are alternating lunges. Some of you are holding. If you are holding your single leg lunge, now is the time to switch sides. Still tall, shoulders low, bicep curl. 15 seconds, then a water break. Don't give up. Push it through. I'm wooing for you. Snaps and smiles. Four, three, two, one. Water break, 30 seconds. Grab what you need. Grab your light dumbbells. Light dumbbells coming up next. Whew. When I say light, I'm gonna use a five. You can also use a three. You can use an eight. Choose what works for you. This is round number three. We're gonna start with a single leg balance. Standing on our right foot. Left foot comes up. Easy. No problem. You've got it. We're gonna spend 45 seconds here. Yeah, just 45 seconds. You're looking for added intensity. Your elbows come up to 90 degrees. Lateral raise. Slow. In control. This gives you a chance to catch your breath. That right hip is working to stabilize. Your abs are drawn in. You're remembering to breathe. 15 seconds and a new exercise coming up. We're gonna stay on this right leg. We're gonna take the left leg out, a little lateral leg lift. I'm doing a little pulse, my toes are forward. If you want to slow it down, you can add in that lateral raise, keep those deltoids working. Your choice. Oh, trainers, just like us, they wobble too. You're doing great. So close. Go ahead and take the side leg raise, kick that foot back. Glute squeeze. Yes, your left leg is moving, your left glute is pulsing, but that right hip should be burning to hold you in place. It is stabilizing. So close. 15 seconds. You've got it. Five more. Three, two, one. Both feet on the floor. Hinge it forward. Reverse fly. If you're feeling extremely stable on your balance, you are welcome to stick with the single leg balance here. We're gonna finish out this reverse fly, and then we're gonna do those same exercises on the other leg. If the fly is too difficult, take it to the row. If the fly is too easy, hold it up there, little pulses. Little pulses, so close, pushing through. 10 more seconds, you can give it to me. Your choice, I give you lots of options because it's all about you pushing your body to your personal level. You don't have to do what I'm doing, you don't have to do what your neighbor is doing. And release, shake it out. Left foot, single leg balance, find it. You've got it. Remember, you're welcome to focus on that balance. You're welcome to add the lateral lift. I found that vision sp spot. My eyes are focused in. 
using my brain and body together. It's called proprioception to aid my balance. Big word for something we all need to move throughout our day. Every time we take a step in balance, our proprioception is working for us. Three more here. Three. Two. Stay on that left leg, lateral leg lift. Toes are forward, they're flexed towards your nose. Woo. This is my challenge side. Stand tall. If you're feeling secure, you wanna take this into a leg lift with a lateral raise, that's up to you. Or we stick with this little pulse. Small movements, big impact. You've got it. I'm holding my arms down because it takes all my focus to do this little pulse, but you can have that lateral arm raise. Three, two, same leg, glute squeeze. I'm pointing those toes. I want you feeling this little contraction in the glute. If you had a mirror, you'd see those little wrinkles in your shorts or in your pants. Right leg's moving, left leg, left hip is burning. That's the one that's working to hold you in place. You've got it. 10 more seconds here. Stay strong. Ask those muscles to work harder than they're used to. You are in control of your muscle destiny. Woo, plant those feet. Reverse fly. This is gonna finish out our weighted workout today. One minute. You have that option to stay on the single leg balance. You have that option to drop down to a bent row. You have that option to pulse. If you are pulsing with that reverse fly, make sure all of that work is coming from your rhomboids, the muscles between your shoulder blades. No neck tension. 25 seconds. Push it out. Cool down, coming up in 20. 15. We feel good. You can do this. I know you can. Five, four, three, two, one. Set those weights down. Shake it out. We have a quick cool down today. Standing. If you feel like your balance is a little shaky, head towards the wall or grab a stable chair. We are going quad balance, quad stretch. So I've reached for that left ankle and pulling towards my left glute. Find that breath. Inhale, exhale. Cross that left ankle over the opposite knee. Sit into your hip cradle. Should feel that stretching, should feel good through that left hip. Take the left foot forward, plant the heel, straight leg. I'm hinging forward so I can feel the stretch through the left hamstring. Flex those toes towards your nose. Holding here, 10 more seconds. Same three stretches on the other side. Right leg quad. Keep the knees together. I don't want it clear out here. I want parallel legs. Parallel legs and big smiles. Hip cradle. Right ankle over the left knee. We sit back. Feel this stretch through the left hip. These should all look really familiar. These are stretches we do on the floor, but today we're doing them standing. Take that left foot forward, plant the heel, pull the nose to your nose. Hamstring stretch on the back side of the left thigh. Three, two, one. Stand that big chest opener. You can go T or goal post. Choose what works for you, but I want you squeezing those elbows back, feeling the stretch through the chest. This is a really fast cool down today. Take a few extra minutes if you have it, and then make sure you hydrate 
get some protein in, have a great lunch. If you're heading off to that next. Tricep, we reach that left arm overhead. Grab to that left elbow, so like you're scratching down the back. Feeling that stretch through the triceps. Switch sides. Woo, good workout. Thank you so much for joining me today. You know we're always open to feedback. And I will see you tomorrow for cardio and core at noon. Have a good day.